everybody. Welcome back to Bedrock Survival with Fix. Man, I'm getting used to these roads. I'm really, really starting to like them. I just kind of put the finishing touches on them. I think I'm probably going to find a few spots I missed. But yeah, you know, it just it just took some getting used to. But I really like it. I think it's really cool. And I, I really like the added color. I know I added black. Hardly a hardly a typical what you think of when you think of adding color. You don't necessarily think grayscale, I guess. But it just adds so much like the darkness with all the all the lighter gray for the walls. And yeah, I just I think it's really cool. I really like it. Hopefully you all do too, uh, and hope you think that I didn't ruin my kingdom. Just let's let if you look if you hate it, just let it marinate a little bit, okay? Just let it marinate. Swish it around your mouth like like some gargle, okay? Just swish around like you're putting in some Colgate, getting out uh, all the plaque, and then we'll uh, rinse for 30 seconds, and then we'll come back a few episodes and we'll discuss it again. But yeah, I just I think it's cool. I really like it. So what are we doing today? Well, here we are. We're in the second episode of kind of phase two, I guess, or the second you know part of the series, I guess, if you will. And we are going to start work on the lower portion of the castle. So what I want to do today is here's I want to lay out basically a plan. I'm going to let everything on this mountain go because I want to think it over and really think about what I want to do. I think this is going to be the keep right on top of this thing. It's going to fill up this entire area. I think it's going to be the main keep. It's a little taller than everything else. I think it could be really cool. So a very, a very large, big, imposing structure here looking down sort of on some smaller houses along here. I think it'll be a really nice uh, sort of line because I'm thinking if you're down in the city down there and these are tall enough then these are going to extend up over that and it's going to be a really good look over in that that area over there we're going to do some sort of build i don't know what it is i was thinking maybe a tower of some sort and then down here i think we're gonna do more houses actually i think so if i want to do houses here then these these guys have to be defended whoa excuse me sorry i just i just drank some diet coke i know i shouldn't i know I know I shouldn't, but I, I did. And uh, I, I kind of have that, like, error in my system a little bit. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking, right? Uh, I'm thinking that if you're down here, then we should probably have a good way to defend this part. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to take this wall design and go right from here. And we're going to go right along the edge of this. Like, right on the edge, basically. A couple blocks back, right up to here. And then have it flow directly into the, the actual castle keep eventually. Right? Did I look at him? Nope. Okay, cool. All right. So, let's go take a look at this thing and see how we build it. For one thing, I know that the wall has to come out one to two blocks of andesite on, on all sides. Also, I think this wall is going to be a little taller than this one. Uh, my hope is that you'd see it from the back, but I don't think it'll be that tall. So, so we have basically a row, a single, a single block of cobblestone. This is only one block deep. Great for defense, not so much, but good for Minecraft building. Yeah, I think so. I think that'll be nice. So then, and then we need two blocks of andesite. So it's basically going to be a three thick wall. And let's grab some cobblestone, and we'll just use uh, whatever. I could use cobblestone or smooth stone or whatever. And we're going to go basically straight from here. And at least, just make sure that at least we have one block, if not more, of grass on the side. And we're just going to lay it out kind of like this. And then I think we'll do something like maybe like a two, a, a two block diagonal, something like this for a little bit. And then what we'll do here is we'll hit a tower. So let's do a tower like maybe uh, something like this. Let's see. I'd kind of like this to be a square. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. <laughs> I can't even count. One, two, three. That's four. Okay. Four, five. Skip this block. Three, four, uh, five. Yeah, okay. So that should be cool. We'll do a tower there. And then coming out from the tower, I think what we'll do is we'll just do a little diagonal from here. So let's go one, one. something like this over to maybe right here. And let's do a small, we'll do like a smaller tower right here. Uh, so we'll do actually five, right? But then we won't two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, and then just connect this. So that way, that that tower is actually two blocks. That's actually kind of a seven tower with the with the corners out. And this is a really a three tower with the corners out. I guess if you want to, let's take the corners out. I think it's a little bit more of a it's a lot more of an interesting look without the corners. It gives you a little bit of a rounded appearance. Okay. And then here we're just gonna go straight. So we'll just go straight across like this over to well to the end of this straight way i think that should look really nice let's lay this out and then i'll go up there and take a look 
I think this should be good. I have another bigger tower over here. So I, then I did a round, a round one over there, a uh, big one over there, a little one and big. So we only have four little towers, which is cool for this area. And this is gonna give, give enough room for a little bit of kind of a castle courtyard in here, which I think would be really cool. Um, I don't think that we need anything really big right here because I think you'll see that from down there. And I think you'll see the big one from down there. You see what I'm saying? The opposite side. So I think that's gonna work. And these four towers that I have along the wall should allow, should give enough interest here that I think we can just put houses along here and make this for like the really rich people. I think that would be cool. Maybe, I don't want to make really big houses because I want to fit a bunch of them in, right? So if I make, um, you know, if I made really big, nice, big mansions, I could probably only fit like two or three. And I'd like kind of like to have like seven or eight. So they, they might be smaller houses and we'll just pretend like they're for rich people just because of where they're located. You know, I, I don't think we're going to go for the giant mansion look here. I, eventually, I want to do a mansion build somewhere, but probably not here. Okay, so I think the next thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go on the grind just a wee little bit. I, By the way, I've been hard on the grind for for Blackstone. I basically have, man, my, my nether tunnels, if you guys grab a world download, unfortunately, if you grab the episode 100 world download, you're not going to see all of the incredible amounts of sort of inlets that I did for, for mining, but on the 125 world download, go into the nether and check out the amount of tunnels that I've done just to look and uh, here check out the spoils I've got 41 ancient debris just from farming farming blackstone so yeah I have a I have a lot and it's it's taken a lot and I'm gonna have to every time I expand the city I'm gonna have to go because I'm really committed to this to this whole blackstone dirt well blackstone road way I guess you know thing but I think it looks really good if you go like down this way I just think that looks really cool and yeah, I think it adds a lot to the town, really. I really do think it's super. If I have, uh, I could, let me grab some basalt, and I want to see what, just out of curiosity, what it looks like. All right, let's go take a quick look at basalt and just see how it feels on this little black area, black, uh, black stone road area here. I, I'm just curious. I, I think it's going to look quite nice. It's a little bright. <laughs> it's a little bright. I don't know. I don't know. Do we like that? I can go sideways. Um... Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, look, look, here, here's the, the, here, here's what I want. Uh, leave me a comment uh, and, and tell me, what, what do you think? What do you think? Yes, basalt or no basalt I, on the roads. Andesite I tried. The problem is andesite is grayscaled completely. Like, I took all the color out when I made the andesite texture, and this hat is not grayscaled at all. There's, like, definitely some, like, purples in here for sure. So it looks a little odd having like such a grayscale block in this i don't think it really works like here you can kind of see it right there it, i don't think it really works together that well so yeah leave me a comment i built up the walls to a good height i think i think it's pretty solid and the next thing i want to do is i want to build up these four towers to kind of the right height so i just got back from my old under the mountain quarry and i picked up a bunch of smooth stone because what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a gradient just like i did over there and it's gonna be basically it'll be cobblestone for several several blocks like i'll probably do three more high cobblestone and then i'll start feathering in some smooth stone for about three to four and then i'll do a smooth stone for about three blocks or so and then i'll i'll do a smooth stone and uh stone brick mix so that'll be sort of the gradient that we go with i think it should work out really well um so let's see yeah let's do yeah let's do these four towers and then we'll talk about sort of the top of the towers after that i think I think that gradient works pretty well. So basically it's in it's in sets of three. If you're looking to do this and you're not really sure how to do it, if you like this look, all it is is really simple. It's three blocks of just cobble, then three blocks of cobble and smooth stone uh, with mostly cobble, and then three blocks of smooth stone mostly with a little bit of cobble, then three blocks with uh, smooth stone with a lot of, or with a little bit of stone brick, and then basically mostly stone brick with a little smooth stone. I think the gradient works pretty well. I think it's nice. So I'm going to do this with all four towers, and um, and then uh, we'll do something kind of like that. I'd like to keep the sort of the wall towers consistent, where they don't have these big fancy spires, because that way the fancy spires will be for the the tower over there and the uh, the keep over here. I think that'll be a nice way to sort of differentiate those two parts of the of the castle. And yeah, it should be a kind of cool look. And again, I'll be going with this this terracotta look for all the spires. I think I might throw in a wood spire here or there i think that is kind of cool whenever you have a little bit of a mixture but for the most part they're going to be a combination of that red and pink terracotta i think it's 
I, I think it looks really nice. It looks with the pink up on top. It looks kind of looks like it floats off into the uh, into the sky there. Let's take a little look. I think it's going to be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's pretty nice. Now, there is going to be a rear gate. There's going to be a rear gate situation. I think it's probably going to end up being right here in the middle of this big straight thing. But I'm going to have to landscape up here. And let's show you why. If you look over this direction here, I'll just punch a hole right in the middle. Yeah, it's a pretty steep cliff, right? So at some point, we're going to have to landscape away. I don't know. Maybe over there would make more sense. Let me see what's over by that tower over there. We can leave that out for right now. Um, maybe there would be a better way. I'm not crazy about this. Well, this could actually work. This could actually work. Hold on a second. Let's see. Let, let's fill in this as well. Okay, cool. What if we had the gate sort of be here? Ooh. Well, that's that's landscapable. We could have, have it kind of walk up along here, like something like that, like landscape this up. So you go up around here, then you turn kind of steep and you come in through here. Maybe that could work. It'd take a little work. It'd take a little bit of work, but I think we could do it. So let's let's roughly plan on maybe this being sort of the 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 gate area. And I think what we would do is we'll end up extending the walls over that direction. But that's going to be a whole nother project, a whole nother day uh, working on that. So, going back to the old walls that we did back a long time ago. Man, how long ago was this? Like, probably episode, like, 50 or something. I, I don't even know. 60, maybe. Is I want to take a look at and see what the next thing that we did is. It looks like what I did was I took stone brick and stone... Well, stone stairs and stone brick stairs, I think. And did it's kind of a random... Uh, a random expansion of this and then on top of that oh that's not stairs actually oh no on top of that then I put blocks okay all right so we got we need stone stone stairs and stone brick stairs to go all the way around the top of the wall ignoring the towers right all right well that's the next step then cool it occurred to me now that I'm basically out of stone here in this area. Now I can use stone. I have a bunch of stone saved up for the mountain, but you know, I've been say I've been sort of mining that for the mountain. So let me show you what I finally started doing is this area. I'm calling this area complete as far as how far, how wide and how big we're going to make it. And we're going to landscape that cliff right there uh, after we sort of fill in the mountain. But I think that'll be okay. It's cutting off a little bit early, but I think it's all right. Uh, basically, I don't, I don't find a need to make the mountain to do this last little bit because I think we'll just do a fake wall there for the inside of the mountain. So it will be cool. What I just started doing here recently is I just started uh, mining out this little area right here. And and now it's really nice because now we're not getting that much uh, wood or <laughs> what? We're not getting any wood. Now we're not getting that much dirt, which is a really, 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 really nice thing. So as you can see, we're just rolling in a lot. Of, of stone now and that's really really nice the only thing i really have to do is just make sure that i i oh there's a hole make sure that i really re uh, replace all the torches because it's gonna get mighty dark here come dusk and all that stuff especially as we go this direction the whole plan for this bit of the quarry is we're gonna dig this down this is gonna be our source of of stone for a very long time for the whole mountain and for many other projects so uh the reason why is because i want this to get down fairly low in this area uh thinking that once this is dug out fairly low we're gonna be able to build something very cool under the mountain and it'd be how much more epic would it be see how tall the mountain's gonna be inside is gonna be really nice but what if this went down another 30 or 40 blocks oh man we could build an epic epic build there even more epic because it's gonna to go to build height right so we can build oh it's gonna be awesome anyway let me let me mine up a whole bunch of stone here so we can get working on this next part i'm gonna to have to replace some torches as well you know what actually now that I look at this, there's no torches. <laughs> yeah, okay. I got some torch work to do. And actually, in fact, honestly, we're I've used a lot of coal in smelting for all the netherrack that I've been digging out. So I may need to really check my coal stores as well. So the next step that I come up with here is I got to build up the next part, which is basically the walkway portion. And it's coming along right now. It looks pretty plain because it's all cobblestone, but that'll be rectified soon here. So the next thing I got to do is I got to mix in uh, both smooth stone and stone brick and work on basically what you're going to be walking on whenever you're walking across the top of this thing. And I think that's going to give it some height. And on the outside of that, we put spruce. And it looks to me that I did a combination of spruce maybe slab stairs and full blocks or maybe just stairs and slabs but i may end up doing stairs slabs and full blocks just to give it that third third sort of variant there so we'll start with this little area and basically i'm just gonna walk along here and just do 
right on top like this and then fill in the uh, rest with stone brick and probably on the on the top of this just probably just do the actually the same because this is actually gonna be what you walk on I think I think that's how, how it is yeah I want to get to the question and comment of the day because I forgot last couple episodes and this is from uh, Bedrock Survival episode 98, so a couple episodes ago, but from Emily McFeely. Uh, it's incredible how you created this entire world. It feels like it's from a storybook. Well, thank you, Emily. And that has really got me thinking. I'll be honest. I've been thinking about that comment, that particular comment. And I'm so grateful for all the questions and comments that y'all all put in, in, my, in my thing. Not only does it help the channel actually out because uh, interactivity I've heard is very good for a youtube channel but also i just i it makes me feel like i'm not playing this as a single player world it feels like i'm playing this uh, together you know with the community and that's i think super cool but what uh what i've been thinking about is i'm thinking like you know I would kind of like to get a little bit more into the lore bit in this world. Right now, the only lore that we really have is we have two brothers who, uh, when their father uh, died, um, or died, or maybe was captured, I don't know exactly how we want to do it yet, but when their father left the picture somehow, uh, the two brothers took over the kingdom, and they basically have been split the kingdom in half, where one brother is working here. I think this is going to be uh, Harrison's kingdom, and the other is going to be Lincoln's kingdom. That's my, my younger son. And uh, the other kingdom sort of back by spawn, and um, and they're 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 friends, but at times they might get a little bit uh, into rivals, you know. And I've been thinking, what if we added in more storybook elements to this? Like, what if we had, say, I've been talking about maybe I want I want the Iron Farm to be a haunted house. Though that being said, I'm a little bummed about that idea because I think it could be a really cool idea, but. It is unfortunately, it's gonna, I'm not gonna be able to have any villager stations there at all. So that's gonna really hurt my um, uh, interior design of a haunted house. So I don't know, it was gonna be ruins, but then I thought, oh, haunted house, that would be really fun to build in October. But then I thought, well, crap. I won't be able to use any of the villager stations, which like for a haunted house, like things like a lectern or, or anvils, cauldrons. I mean, man, we need all that stuff, you know, so. <laughs> you know, it's a funny thing. It's a funny thing. These children of mine, they uh, they will be super quiet whenever I'm not recording. They're, my wife, it's a Saturday, and my wife is 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 watching, playing with them outside. And then the second I hit record, it's like it's doorbell time, and they're like ring, 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 ring. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Because they're outside, they can't even hear it. They don't even know what's going off. They're just they're just hitting the button. Anyway. That's gonna happen. That's gonna happen sometimes, you know. It is it is it is what it is and it's fine and they're the greatest and blah 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 whatever. But yeah, it's it's <laughs> they're so relentless. They're so relentless. Okay, anyway. Alright, so so here here's the next step is we're gonna be make some of these things. But like I was saying, to finish up my thought on on uh on the 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 what like the storybook or something i think i might use some elements of that i think it's a pretty fun idea and it's something that i think maybe we'll explore a little bit like maybe we'll go down sort of some of those storybook things in this place like i mean we already have like the you know the the classic medieval castle and and this beautiful area we could make a dock we have that pillager outpost over there that eventually is going to be a very evil dark dark rough place and you know we're going to have that the the enchanted forest over by the iron farm kind of uh, might be a fun idea i think it might be something that we really kind of look into all right so for the rest of this i'm just going to take and i'm just going to completely randomly mix in blocks uh, as we go along probably a lot of stairs, but not not only stairs, you know, just so it looks so it looks um, I don't know Interesting and, and maybe a little bit haggard. I might even do some stairs like kind of like turn it and then Something like that. I think that that adds something and let's just zip down here so you can take a look at what that See, I think that's so much better than just doing a straight line uh, in my opinion. Anyway, I think it's just a lot better so all right, let's continue on with that, and then we'll come out on the other side of this. It's starting to shape up. It's starting to look like it's always been meant to be here, which, it, I mean, it has, honestly, but doing this landscaping has really changed everything. I really, really, really like it. So here is where we stand. Let's take a look from over this area, and yeah, it's starting to look like a castle, I think. 
It's starting to look very cool. Also, I love that the wall connects right to here. I think that's super cool. So that way, this might be the way to get up here to the palace. Like, you have to go through the wall or something like that. I don't know. We'll work out some sort of ingenious little way. So the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to go up like, like so. I want to take a look and see, remember how I did this. I think I went three tall, and then I think I put spruce right along it. So one, two, three. And then I think, if I'm right... Wait, if I'm right, I did spruce slabs like here, right? So that way I can do this. Yeah, that's how I did it. Okay, so then this will be one, two, three, and then we'll go spruce slabs like right on top, okay? And this is just going to end for right now. This is just going to end like right here with no real plan. One, two, three, and we'll just go like slab. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Okay, and like that. But I think if we're up on top of this slab, I think, can we not? Yeah, you can. You just got to hit it exactly at the right place okay so there's something along these lines and then what we'll do is oh, darn it all man then what we'll do is we'll work on each section individually probably and just kind of go like this along here and again i think i'll, I'll do some things some things where i'm going to mess this up I don't think that I messed that up. I think that's kind of a perfect roof, and I don't really like that style that much. I'd rather it not be. I'd rather it be a little bit more interesting. So I think what we might do is is just some things, some things along this way. Oh man, I knew it. Darn it. Let's take a look at it. I think that it's starting to look really, really, really nice. So I got the roof on. Now, the one thing that is really going to help this roof look sort of done and finished and more stable is this trim. So I'm going to go get some stone slabs and some stone brick slabs and trim that up on both sides. And then we're going to move into the andesite portion of it, which is going to really, really help thicken the wall because obviously the wall at the moment is only one, one thick. And then the other thing I want to do is we're going to come back in and whatever cobblestone is showing, we'll mix in some stone brick, some cracked stone brick, because that goes so well with cobblestone. I love that combination. So we'll do that. And uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm killing all the animals because they spawn constantly. And that way I can get, you know, things I need, like feathers and, and beef and leather in particular. Leather in particular, that's one thing that I, I often need. I kill these guys every time. Uh, there's no penalty for it. So hooray. This guy still is like, okay. Okay, you just killed my you just killed my pets, but I'll still trade with you, I suppose. Let's take a look. I think it's really nice, actually. Uh, I think it really, really, really helps have being kind of the random blocks on top. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm dying over here. Uh, the random blocks on top, I think, really help. And actually, I went back to sort of the old wall, and I randomized a bunch of it, though. I ran on a slab, so I didn't do all of it, but most of it. And, um, yeah, I think that helps a lot, too. So, man, this feels like it's starting to feel like a castle courtyard. Yeah, so we can have what I'm thinking is. What I'm thinking is this area down here is going to be mostly houses. Like, we'll do... We'll do kind of the richer houses here, you know, and really make this a really nice sort of sort of area. Maybe we'll do a little bit of uh, blacksmith, maybe that kind of stuff, you know, uh, but like the king's blacksmith. So it'd be like a better one and that kind of stuff, you know, then up here, this is going to be very, very, very tall. I think that way you can see it from everywhere in the kingdom. I think that's important as well. Since you can see this castle the whole way from spawn, it is really important that this be just massive. I think that'll be really, really cool. So I love it. I love it. I'm going to take some time now because I, I'm going to go. Uh, we're, my kids and I are taking taking a drive to give give Mama a break today. It's Saturday for for me, so uh, we're going to give give, uh, give Mama a a chance to just sort of recoup and and take the day off. So uh, me and my boys are leaving. So we're leaving for a little while. We're going to go on a little bit of a drive and do some fun activities and stuff. And then hopefully late night tonight I'll come on. I'll do all this and the site, and then we'll come back and check out uh, the final sort of the final verdict on this wall. Maybe we'll do the towers today. Maybe. Maybe another day. I don't know. Oh, man, this is starting to look so good. Oh, I'm loving it so much. Look at this. Look at this castle, would you? How about it, man? Oh, yeah. They are... Uh, they, they, uh, this is just opening up my eyes to how many things we can put in this sort of fairy book story. But what? Fairy book? Is it story book? Fairy tale story, story book. That's easy. That's easy for you to say, isn't it? Anyway, the storybook kingdom... Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of things that we can add here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to pepper in some crackstone brick all along this wall, just the cobblestone portions of it all along there and then around inside the tower as well. And I was thinking about 
the tops of the towers and I kind of went back and forth, but yeah, I think I am going to keep them flat. Uh, you know, when I say I went back and forth in, in my own head here over the last few minutes, but I think I'm going to keep them flat because I think the spires are going to be better up there. So yeah, let me do those two things and then I should finish up this little project and very nicely too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at this. huh? Look at this. What progress in a singular episode. All right, that is gonna wrap it up for me today, but my, my, oh my, I love it. Can't wait to keep on building this house. I don't, or this castle. I don't know if I wanna do the palace next or what, but uh, yeah, we're gonna watch the moonrise come up and let the credits roll. I will see you all next episode from Bedrock Survival with Fix. Thanks so much for coming out. Hope you enjoy the slightly new format and the new soundtrack that I commissioned. A good friend of mine played the um, guitar music that we're listening to right now. And I will see you all next time. Bye everybody.